So as you know, quarterofdigital.com is a cool website. We also have Son of a Dungeon that's on there. And that's a it's a really, really great show. We're almost done with it. The finale is coming up. It's coming out just after Halloween. And I mean, Jordan's been doing great so far, but it seems that now that we're hitting the finish line, something's happening. He's slowing down. And a lot of shots that Jordan is supposed to do are not done. I don't know what's going on with Jordan. <sighs> There's a lot of red here. And yeah. I'm seeing your name over and over again. No, I get that. I know it's it's coming up. It's a lot. So we're trying to get this episode out. This episode requires a lot of work. You know, yeah. it's the biggest one. And uh, I mean, we're almost at Halloween too, which isn't the best okay. time. Do you go trick or treating? Are you a child? No, like, you shouldn't. I mean, I guess some people view it as a as like a holiday, like a fun thing. For me, it's it's more of a day to get through than to to enjoy at this point. So, sorry, I mean, I, So you're I, telling me that November 1st, you're fine, and then November 1st- That's when I can push. Once we're through this whole, like, season where I have to see things on lawns that just bring, bring it all back, like- Are you designing a haunted house? Like, is there a lot of preparation, or is this- It's not so much, like, organizing a haunted house as it is navigating the haunted house in my head. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Uh, here. Jordan Allen. He's dealing with some stuff here. It has something to do with Halloween and some sort of deep-seated drama that surrounds it. Do you need me to like pick up some shots or something? I'm thinking, okay, do you remember Remember when Clint came by? He was stressed out and I made this like cool relaxation zone for him in VR. Yeah, yeah, that really helped him, I remember. <laughs> Please stop him. His heart rate's going I'm on fire. Yeah, it, it did really, it, it actually worked. So. I'd love to see your take on it, since you're a VR developer now. We know we can heal through VR. Yeah. Clint wasn't dealing with deep-seated trauma. He was just a little bit stressed out, and we just brought him to a point of relaxation. However, Jordan is at a far higher peak here. His fears are kind of consuming him. I think it's like the same process we need to go through, only now, instead of just getting over some stress, we have to get over fears. Help him relive those traumas in an effort to get over them? Yeah, re relive the traumas in a way that helps him overcome them and yeah. not just makes it worse, whatever he's going through. Okay, so I'm a little worried because Sam has tasked me with fixing Jordan. I could either fix him forever or damage him irreparably. So I need to be sure I know what I'm doing. Oh. How to do therapy at home. Seven tips on how best to do uh, self-therapy. Start by thinking about what you'd like to achieve. I wanna fix Jordan. Understand more about your problem or goal. And I guess I don't really understand that much about what Jordan is going through. Maybe I need to take my research off the computer and put it onto Jordan. Hello. Well, Jordan, thank you for coming in today. Oh my yeah, goodness, please. this is incredible. Um, tell me about how you're feeling. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little anxious about what we might be exploring. I just want to be a better version of myself, I think, coming out of this than, than I am going in. What's your biggest fear? <laughs> oh, you mean like physical fear? Let's start with primal fear. Full frontal nudity. Really? Yes. But I have other fears too that are probably better suited for you too. Is the full frontal, you're afraid of you being full frontal or other people being full frontal? Frontal to frontal. And I don't know if that stems from the locker rooms what are you writing? What are you writing, huh? I... Don't worry about it. Yeah. I mean, I, I can take you back to my childhood. Yeah, please. If we want to Let's... explore. When I was a child, we moved into an apartment. The day that I moved in, yeah. me and my brother never wanted to go into our rooms. It was always ice cold in that room. Freaky. The day that I moved in, I made a new imaginary friend. Oh. I called him Kevin in heaven. <laughs> I was three Why years old. Why did you call him that? You know, I don't know, but I could describe him to a T with total accuracy every single time. I would describe him as like a middle-aged gentleman in like a, a three-piece tuxedo type outfit. And I started misbehaving the day we moved in. I started breaking things, stealing things. And when confronted, I would say, Kevin in heaven told me to do it. But it was only when I was older that it was revealed that he might have not been imaginary because the day we moved from that apartment is the day I stopped talking about Kevin in heaven. What, you, you feel like Kevin in heaven might, might have been a ghost. I might, he might have been a ghost. He might have been a ghost. He might be the thing that I feel pursuing me in dark hallways. <laughs> How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling a bit exposed. 
I might need another pair of pants. Do we have another pair of pants? We're gonna bring in some pants for you, just to make you feel. Thank you guys. No, this this makes a difference. Just the weight of the pants on your legs. I think must yeah, feel just nice. knowing that there is yeah. another layer there. I hear you. Is is enough for me to pers to continue this? Yeah, I had a pretty horrible dream. I was in the grocery store, my local Vons, and I was shopping. And I look up, and there was an old woman with long hair, with her back towards me, at the end of the grocery store aisle. Yeah. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the checkout and, and wrap this up. And so I went to the checkout and I was scanning my items and I looked to my left and it's the old woman, but she's right next to me in line. That's and I so just, unsettling. And yeah. she turns and she has these wild bloodshot eyes and she stabs me in the heart. <laughs> Super spooky, dog. I might need another pair of pants. Do we have another Listen, pair of pants? Do we have another? Uh, Nick, could we get yours? Could you just throw them off? Safe. Safe. You look comfortable. I can see it in your eyes. I've never felt more myself. And let me tell you, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm really proud of you. I think you're ready for the next level. In our next session, I'm going to have an experience for you. I'm trying to think of a pun that uses pants as thanks, and I can't you're, do it. You're... Coping. So the therapy session with Jordan was super helpful, and honestly, there's so much to work with. I'm also scared of, like, demons. What kind of demons? The ones that get you, you know? And this is great because it gives me the opportunity to, at multiple points throughout the simulation, try different things, attack different fears. Full frontal nudity, Kevin in heaven, and grocery store lady. There will be a specific game mechanic for each one. I see a circle, right? All woven together into Jordan's story. It needs to be gamified. He needs to be able to win this thing. We got a full body avatar here. So if I move my hand in the real world and there's something, <laughs> in the game, it says, uh-uh. Could I spend time to make this uh, stable? You know, that's not what's important here. What's important is the emotion. Oh, where'd my pants go? Oh. <laughs> I've been working on a clothing removing system, which I've never done before in code. We have a full naked avatar. You start out fully clothed, and then at any point in the simulation, Jordan himself can choose to take his shirt and pull it off. <laughs> and same thing with the pants. <laughs> so that simple thing took way too long to <laughs> implement. <laughs> I, I think it's really important that I get this right. I care about Jordan and it's gonna be worth it. Peter's gonna be here any minute now. We've been talking about doing this for a couple weeks. Wait, why are we doing this on Halloween? You know, it's a little bit jarring because we had one therapy session and I kind of just unloaded everything onto him. And then he just kind of left and hasn't been responding to my emails. It's been like two weeks now and I haven't heard back from him. And so I'm kind of stuck processing all of this. I haven't talked about Kevin and Heaven in a long time. When you bring stuff down from the attic and you open those boxes and then the therapist leaves the house and doesn't help you put the boxes away, I think my chances of being healed here are pretty low. All right, today's the big day. Ready to go, everything's set and ready for Jordan. I just have to, uh... Look oh. who's calling. What's up, man? Hey, Peter. I'm just thinking, like, how can we take this to the next level, right? How can we how can we make it stand out? And courtesy of today's sponsor, Squarespace, I think I've got the perfect ideas. It, it took me a long time to make this, and new features would take a while, but what did you have in mind? You, you've got a business model in the palm of your hands right now. And all we need is a beautiful award-winning template from Squarespace. With Squarespace, we can create a website that allows for all the things we need to create a competent and efficient business for VR experiences. They've already got members areas available for us to build out. Wow. I mean, yeah. That means we can create a paywall and bring in clients. We make it a cooperative experience. Squarespace even allows you to do appointment scheduling. We, we, we just book everyone in and you know, with top of the game analytics, we can see who's coming to our website, what they're doing, how they're utilizing our website. And that allows us to better tailor it to give people and customers a better experience. That's amazing. I, I'm getting really excited about this. Yes, dudes. And if you're interested in getting 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain, head on over to squarespace.com slash corridor crew to get started today. Thank you, and what was that discount code one more time? Oh, it's squarespace.com slash corridor crew, or just click the link in the description of this video for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, great. It was good talking to you. All right, good talking to you. And uh, say, say hi to Jordan for me. I will. Oh, I'm saying hi, all right. Don't scare him too much. 
<laughs> we'll see. Uh, so Peter, you obviously have many talents, but from time to time, you tend to go above and beyond when it comes to the scope of a project. And when it comes to a Reddit challenge, that's great. But when it comes to quelling someone's fears and helping them like get past trauma, overdoing it, we risk going too far. Sam, we're on the bleeding edge here. I'm a little concerned what it might do to him. Me too, man. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, you mean me Hope too? it goes well. You mean me too? <laughs> like we're here to like help him. <laughs> Look at that. That's what we want. That is not scary. Not yet. Sam, you don't understand. This is a part of the story where it's supposed to be a peaceful moment. This is- I, I, I haven't seen this at all. Should I like test this out before he does and like- I, I think, yeah. We're on the precipice of wrapping this huge show. It's all coming down to Jordan to help us get it done. I'm trying to bring Jordan back from the brink here. I'm not trying to shove him violently over the edge. I took the initiative to have you create this. And so ultimately, I'm accountable. Are you absolving me of responsibility? If his sanity meter drops below zero, I might have to blame you. I honestly have a feeling that this won't be scary at all. In fact, it might just be very confusing. Jordan has told you about his nightmares and I'm about to experience them secondhand with no context. Here we go. This is, uh, I, oh my God. Well, Sam, if you're this scared, I'm kind of uh, worried about Jordan here. This is, how could you do this to him? This is a lot to take in, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> f***ing <laughs> I don't like that. You know, actually, yeah, I'm good. All right, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just feel like I just need another pair of pants. I'm gonna put on another pair of pants. It's fine. Let's find the bathroom. We could put these on because people can see these pants. It's like if I want to wear a couple pairs of pants, what's the big deal? Someone's at the door. Please, please. please. This is legitimately frightening, and I can only imagine the fear he's going to experience. You asked me to do this. I'm like, I've got chills. I have chills right now. That was so terrifying. Okay. <sighs> Shoot. Should we still go through with this? Is this a good idea? I might just think for a bit. I'm gonna do this. And if you can find a, a pair of pants, maybe? Yeah, if we can just have some lined up. Yeah, just, yeah. Okay, you got this. Hey, they're just likes. They're just likes. <laughs> Just epidermis, dog. <laughs> Everyone's got it. Well, most people have it, I think. Some people don't have skin. <sighs> We've made it this far. We carry through with this experiment. What have I done? And just see what the res results are. Hey. I'm here to grow and change, Ooh. and I will say, on my drive here, driving down the freeway, I'm feeling nervous, and as I'm like kind of losing my nerve, kind of wanting to turn around, no joke, this literally happened, I see a guy stand up out of the bush, no shirt or pants, stands up victorious, with confidence I've never seen before. And I want that. I thought in my head as I was driving, I said, I want that. I want that kind of mental freedom, that kind of clarity, to just, boom, just be me. I love the me that I am. I don't need lots of pants, I know this. It feels... <laughs> It feels fine. <laughs> Jordan, it's your task to complete this experiment. You gotta begin the healing. Let's do this. This is me shaking your hand. I really hope it helps you, and I think it will. There we Thanks. go. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Entering the simulation in three, two, one. Let the healing begin. That's here, this is here. I'm ready to, I'm ready to face my fears. <laughs> no! Uh, 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 oh, dude! Oh, shoot! All right. <laughs> no, dude! Okay, good night, Jordan. Sleep well, my sweet baby boy. Mom! No. No! No! <laughs>
No! Get away from me! Well, are you here? There you are. Jordan, I want to go up to heaven. It's been so long. I just want to go up to heaven. Oh! But I can't. Oh! I can't. I need my bones. You need your bones? I need my other bones. You need your bones? Can you help me get my arm bones? Oh, yeah. I need them to fly. Yes, yes. Please. Please it's help me so get long. my arm Where's bones. I can't see. Will you get me my arm yes, bones? Yes, 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 Kevin. Fist bump me if oh. you get me my arm bones. Oh. Where are they? Kevin. Oh my gosh. Oh! Looks like it's beginning to work. Jordan, we need to Hey! Hold on right now! What's up? I can't use it. Yeah! Woo! We're the way to hell to pay. I will tell you parents. And they will be so mad. Hold on right now. Get it on the screen. Just do it! Why did you do this? Uh. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello, Jordan. It's nice to meet you. My name is Ash. Oh. And this is Ash. 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 Um, and we just picked you up because we uh, we're doing a little research on humans. It's actually yeah. we're grad students at Ash. Ash. Oh, Ash. And uh, we wanted to kind of do some biology research on humans um, <clears throat> because there isn't really much good an a anatomical uh, diagrams for you guys. No, okay, great. Just take off your clothes. Whoa. Okay, okay. You, you got it. You got it. You can do it. No, I can't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> There's cameras. I can do the shirt. That's fine. Oh, my pants! No! <laughs> no! No! Okay, great. Awesome. Yeah, you, you look good. This um, is illegal. Yeah, right. you look amazing. Uh, okay, great. Yeah, stand right here. Look, look, look at the camera. Oh, oh man. I'm going to regret this when I'm a parent. Great. All right, now turn to the side if you could. Oh, you want a freaking profile, too? Oh, this feels weird, dude. Oh, I've seen a lot of photos, man. Okay, great. Let's get kind of... Let's get a funny one. Let's get a funny one. Oh, All right? Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that'll do it. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for being yeah. a part of this. You're really helping us out. I can sue you from your uh, brain activity that you, you're looking for some bones. Um, yeah. And we actually have a bone right here. So let me just... Uh, oh, shoot! It's for Kevin! It was great meeting you. You seem like a really cool guy. <laughs> and uh, I hope... Whatever this is goes well. Thank you. Um, all right, we'll catch you later. We're just gonna drop you. All right, three, two, one. Peace. Wow, that was. Whew, that's kind of nice. Very complimentary. Oh frick! I'm clothed again, at least. This is where I wasn't able to continue. No. Oh, not this place! No! No! Oh, dude, it's right out of the freaking dream! No, dude! Go, oh, I can't run! It. Oh, frick! Oh, frick! Oh, it's dead end! Oh. Let me try again. Just focus, man. It's okay. Get to the checkout. Oh, dude, she's not freaking looking at me. How do I get? How am I supposed to get out of here? Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! Oh shoot! I can do this. I'm gonna 
just gonna run for it. That's it, dude. Go, 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 Conquer! Oh, what? I don't need you! I don't need groceries! Bones. Yeah. They're back. Kevin. I can finally feel my fingers. I've been waiting <laughs> for this for so long. I've been so sad all these years. And now I'm so happy. And it's all thanks to you. Wow. Thank you, man. Hey, I'm really proud of you. You showed your naked bod to those aliens. Yeah, I That's did. incredible. That's real growth <laughs> thanks, for you. Man. And punching that scary lady, man, that took a lot of courage. I really admire that. But most of all, you gave me yes. my arm bones back. Yeah. And now I can fly up to heaven <laughs> and join my family. Yes, man. Kevin. You have no idea how appreciative I am. I really love you, man. Freaking deserve it, man. You deserve arm bones. And I'm gonna miss you, but it's time to go join my family. Get out of here. All right, bud. I'll see you later. Hey, word of advice. Show that naked bot a little bit more. <laughs> it's Thanks, sexy. Man. Okay, Thank forget you. about it. All right, I'll see you later. I didn't know you were bye Italian, bye. dude. Heck yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Kevin from heaven oh, no, is finally it. going to heaven. Woo! Oh yeah, it feels good, <laughs> baby. This story has a happy Bye, ending. Kevin! Woo! Woo! Hey, hey, just for kicks, you want to throw those clothes off one more time? Oh! I didn't even know I did it. <laughs> He's so healed he didn't even know he took his clothes off. <laughs> look at me! <laughs> yeah, look at the back too! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I think we did. Oh! All right. I think it worked. Oh, I'm sweating so much, but I feel lighter than I've ever felt. You did it. I can't tell you how much this means to me, man. You did it, bud. <sighs> you did great. My heart. You didn't try to get out of that headset one time. I knew this was, it was now or never for me. I knew that. And uh, I really appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate you watching it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. I've been waiting to do this a long time, Sam. Do you feel comfortable now? I am. No, Sam. Thank I you. think we should wrap this up. <sighs> it's it's time, time to finally be free. The sanity meter. Oh, it's honestly a good I've thing. I've been freed in VR and it's yes. time to be free in real life. I, I, oh no. Sam, no, no, I want you to look at me. This is terrifying. <laughs> I, I, I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't what is going I didn't on? I realize he was wearing a second pair. I don't need him anymore. This is thanks to you guys. Uh, Peter, good job. Thank you, Sam. That means a lot. I came in here today with three major fears. That was Kevin in heaven, unresolved issues regarding our relationship. He's in heaven again. I have peace. The old woman in the aisle. I beat the crap out of her, so I don't need to worry about that anymore. And nudity and I face those aliens, I posed in a funny pose for photographs that will probably find their way online. And I don't even care, naked. And they complimented me. All those things are out of the way and I feel a sense of renewal and I have all this energy and I need somewhere to put it. And so I wanna get back to what I love. I love visual effects. I love pouring into this stuff and working with you guys. And so if there's anything you need me to do, I'm here now. Well, let's go have a chat upstairs. I got some spreadsheets to show you. Things that are as tall as me that are coming at me. I notice you flinch when Jonah or Fenner are walking Wears heels. Because Jonah's shorter than me. Yeah, oh, okay. Only when he's in heels do I flinch. But J Fenner, I'm constantly in, t in this hyper tense state. And if I'm also wearing pants, then mm -hmm. I feel like I could do anything.